Bucks and the Nets, a new venue, but could it be the same results as the Bucks have a long win streak against the Nets, New Jersey, and maybe here in Brooklyn. Reggie Evans with a steal on the break. Joe Johnson back to Evans. Brett really made an impact there with the Nets. Well, I mean, Reggie's just an energy guy. They're surprised that Joe decided to give it back to Reggie <laughs> and glad that he finished it off right by getting the two points. Jennings and a long outlet to Monte Ellis. Lays it up and in. Brooklyn with a one-point lead. Jennings now going to pull up for three in transition. No. Shoot yes. Rounds. Friendly rims there in Brooklyn. That Brandon Jennings and also Monte Ellis. They had 50 points out of the 97. They can flat out score the basketball. They're a nightmare because both can get it off the bounce. It's just hard to defend. Now Ellis backing, moving, fading away over Marshawn Brooks. Both Ellis and Jennings really had a nice game. And then Gerald Wallace trying to get the back right down Broadway. Well, maybe not Broadway, they're in Brooklyn. Yeah, in Brooklyn. Well, okay. the, the Close enough. Bucks were up 29 points, and they let a lot of that slip away. And Nets tried to make a, a valiant comeback late in the game. And Bahamute knocks down the 17 footer, gets that 10 point advantage. But Bucks, lucky to hold on in this one, get the win in Brooklyn. That's got to feel good. Well, it does. And, and strangely enough, as the Nets lose their last four and they've had defensive problems, they've lost their last 12 to Milwaukee, dating back to 2009. That's really strange, but if you look at Jennings and Ellis, they combined for 50 points in this game. When they do that, they're very, very tough to beat.